Hi. There is no doubt that the arrival of the iPad Air 4 has sparked a lot of interest for iPad mid-range segment. Finally refresh design into something that was usually mark of a pro lineup. And while the bezels of the latest iPad Air are not as thin as the pro version, it's still a world of difference comparable to that obsolete design of previous iterations. In this video, let's compare the latest iPad Air with iPad Pro but not the one from 2020. We are going to compare it to one of the previous generations and I will explain why. Question for you. Would you buy well-preserved used iPad or you would only buy a new one? Please write in the comments below. Now the intro and let's go. Hi guys and welcome to Digital Marketing Channel. My name is Marco and this is your weekly fix of tech news, leaks, rumors and opinions, everything about Apple and their competitors. If you're a fan of this type of content, subscribe now, hit the like button and don't forget notification bell so you don't miss the next video. You can already find many comparisons and pre-reviews of iPad Air 4 against many other devices, including 2020 iPad Pro. But from my standpoint, comparing it with this year's iPad Pro, it doesn't add up. It already has the upper hand with two or probably three gigs of RAM more, so that doesn't work for me. And while you cannot find iPad Pro 2018 in Apple stores anymore, nor Apple website, there are many third-party locations and even places online where you can find and buy brand new model. iPad Pro 2018 may be considered as a device two years old, but its internals still makes it one of the top-notch performers even today. It's powered by Apple's 7 nanometer octa-core A12X chip with four Cortex performance cores and four Tempest efficiency cores with 1.6 GHz frequency. This model also comes with four gigs of RAM except for one terabyte option. In comparison, a 5 nanometer A14, which is the brain of operations behind the latest iPad Air, has six cores, two performance lightning cores with up to 3.1 GHz clock speed, and four power efficient cores clocked at 1.8 GHz speed. Till now, iPad Air was usually sold with 3 gigs of RAM, but since all 2020 iPad Pro models come with 6 gigs of RAM, there's a small hope. It might come with 4 gigs of memory. Most likely it's gonna be 3 gigs, but deep in my gut, Guts. I hope, I hope, I want. Nevertheless, in some unofficial tests, A14 seems as equally powerful as A12X, and that is serious plus for the iPad Air 4. But that's not all. On Geekbench 5, single core test, A14 was around 50% faster than A12X, while in multi-core, these two processors were almost tied. That means that even with 3 gigs of RAM, the latest iPad Air 4 can be matched to iPad Pro from 2018. With 4 gigs of RAM, in theory, it can even outpace it. Now, obviously, apps and more demanding tasks will require more processing cores, and that may give upper hand to iPad Pro with its 8 cores of A12X. Now, in terms of graphic performance, iPad Pro's 7 GPU cores, comparable to 4 that are estimated for iPad Air, in this scenario, this year's mid-ranger will be left behind. So should this be your concern? Nah. Whatever you use to challenge this year's iPad, it will deal with it without issues. Other than that, both of these models have P3 wide gamut retina display, USB-C, as well as smart connectors. That means you can use smart folio keyboard, as well as newest Magic Keyboard with a trackpad iPad 4 also supports second generation Apple Pencil, so you're gonna have a lot of time playing and it's one of the best tools in the industry. The only true advantage the iPad Pro from 2018 has is 120Hz screen refresh rate. So overall that means smooth, more smooth scrolling experience, lower latency when using Apple Pencil, and slightly better gaming experience. iPad Pro third generation also comes with Face ID, which doesn't have to be advantage. Let me explain. While I personally love it, there are moments when Face ID can be quite irritating, especially when you're laying down or when you're outside with your mask. It cannot scan your face properly. iPad Air 4 comes with Touch ID that is integrated inside a power button, so if you're outside with a mask or you are in any other weird position, you don't have to deal with any of that. 
so it will be even more convenient. Price-wise, you know how the things are. 64 gigs of storage of iPad Air 4 will cost you $599. iPad Pro from 2018 with 64 gigs as well costs around $650, at least based on the numbers from the Amazon. Now, if you can find that same iPad Pro for around $550, I would suggest that you pick it up without thinking. Otherwise, I can warmly suggest iPad Air 4. Unless you're really in photo and video editing or someone who really wants 120 hertz display as well as face id that would be all thank you for watching digital marketing channel my name is marco if you like this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up and obviously subscribe talk to you soon have an excellent day bye mm.